Primul, uh, so the first speaker for this afternoon uh, is uh, from Mikos, is Jiri, that he will speak about this. They are producing a uh, lot of uh, connectics, plastics, and many other things. So let's hear what good news Jiri has for us today. Seven minutes each presentation, so we'll take care to keep, it, to keep in time. At 4 p.m. we'll have the uh, first ceremony awards of fiber optic pr prizes. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, I have been asked to be very super quick, so I will try my best. And I will try to introduce uh, Mikos as a company uh, which has been on the market uh, of fiber optic networks for 30 years already. I have prepared this first slide, which is just actually uh, summarizing uh, uh, the answer to the question of the main topic, uh, if uh, it's worth it to go underground or not. and. Uh, uh, my personal opinion is definitely yes, and all the pros and cons which you can see on this slide has been discussed today, and I believe also uh, explained. Uh, I like the project from uh, Sinai, uh, which shows the benefits if you go underground. So, uh, if you are still hesitating, I I would vote for yes, go underground. Uh, so you say yes, full hundred percent that this is the future, correct? I, Definitely, and what I see from my actually previous employment uh, with Duraline, as you know, uh, being active in many different countries in Europe and all around, most of the countries are deploying only underground. Of course, there are some uh, uh, small projects, especially in rural areas or somewhere where economical aspects uh, goes for aerial. But what is in Czech, I, if I'm not wrong, in Czech everything is underground, correct? Yes, correct. 100%? Yes. No there's, idea? There's no allowed, no. Has to go underground. That's nice to hear. Yeah. Uh, so just a very quick introduction of the company. It was established in uh, 1990 as a group uh, of uh, four divisions. One of the activity was telecom. And in uh, October uh, in 2007, we built our uh, plant actually in Czech Republic where we produce all the cabinets and joints and everything or our portfolio. And you can see our uh, products at our booth, at our stand, so please come and visit. Uh, in October 2018, uh, telecom division was separated, and it's only uh, the telecom focus at the moment. And last year, we uh, were bought by PLP Group. Uh, PLP Group is an American company, so we actually joined together, and we are able now to offer the complete solution. Uh, for fiber optic networks. Uh, so that's just just the summary and a uh, and few uh, information about uh, both companies uh, we'll present. Uh, and as I said, what we can offer as a company, uh, we have many different uh, products and solutions and we are trying to put these solutions together to show our customers actually how you can use them, not individually, but as a grouped uh, products uh, towards building the solution and building the real fiber optic networks. Uh, so we have full portfolio of uh, underground chambers, we have uh, access cabinets, we have solutions for uh, uh, distribution points, outside, inside, underground, above ground. When we are saying the networks are built underground, it doesn't mean that uh, uh, distribution box cannot be uh, above ground. But then, of course, the design and, and uh, reliability is uh, part of the product. And my kind of main plan today was to play a short video, uh, which goes against this main topic. When we said 100% uh, below ground, uh, we have also a kind of facade solution, uh, which is actually quite nice and handy, and it can be used also here in Romania. So that's why uh, I plan to play this uh, installation video Facade solution is uh, where you can bring actually all your network from the office uh, to the building and then just the last uh, drop, last access connection is uh, led on the facade. So you connect your customers uh, on the request. So you just install the cable and then you, when the customer asks for a connection, you just uh, make uh, the individual connections to the customers. So if you can play that video, please. And that's all for me. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Cornell. Thank you very much for us also to having us here and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, uh, Gidi. 
Gili has a good experience, so that's something like now here we see the transition box with this pricing uh, box. Huh? Yeah, it, maybe you can explain something about yeah. this video. Yeah, basically this is just showing the, the installation of, the, of this facade system, which is uh, quite simple. As I said, the first, what you need to do, you install just the uh, cable on the facade, uh, which is the uh, uh, riser cable, special riser cable, which can be uh, installed outside. And then we have this uh, connection box, uh, which you see now where you do the connection from the underground cable to this facade. So this is just a uh, one-to-one uh, splicing box from where you connect this riser cable. And then, as I s you will see later during this video, when the customer asks for a connection, uh, you just uh, put extra box and then you can use either uh, uh, drop cables with connectors or you can splice, it, does, it means it, uh, it depends on uh, what kind of solution you are looking for. But this is very universal and from one box uh, uh, you can connect uh, 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 more, more uh, uh, customers and you can also, as I said, you can use either splicing solution or connectorized or you can also put uh, 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 those. No. How is it called? I forgot the English name. <laughs> uh, splitters, sorry, splitters. splitters, yeah. So that's what and is nice. There's also Miko says this personalized solution, so that you can make yeah. boxes requ by request, correct? I, yes, correct. Uh, of course, we have a very wide portfolio of all the different cabinets, but uh, yeah. As the manufacturer, we do the customized products. So if you don't find the solution or you want to adjust it anyhow, you know, different type of connectors, different equipment inside, we do the uh, tailor-made solution for our customers. So no problem at all. That's, that's the strength of, uh, of us, actually.